Welcome to Draw Kids. Today we're drawing a super cool character with an even cooler name. It's Brenda Blenda from Shopkins. So grab your art supplies and let's draw. So here we are drawing Brenda Blenda. Brenda Blenda is going to pretty much take up the whole page. But what we want to do is we're going to start towards the bottom half of the page. We're going to start with the eyeballs. So what we're going to do about just off center, we're going to do a small circle. Just like that. Inside of that, we're going to do a teeny tiny circle. Good. Now color that in. So next to that, on the same other side, we're going to do a teeny tiny circle. And then a circle around it, just like that. That's the other eye. Good. Next, we're going to draw a circle outside of that, but it, it's going to be leaning towards this side. So like just like that. Same thing on this side. Good. Now one more circle on the outside of that. Perfect. Same thing on this side. One more circle. Good. On the outside of that, we're going to do three eyelashes. Just flick, flick, flick. One, two, three. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Awesome. So right here in the middle is going to be the mouth. It's just going to be a tiny little smile. Just like that. And underneath it is just going to be a U for the little tongue. Perfect. So on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines, almost like a cone with the bottom cut out, like a bucket if it was tipped over sideways. So two lines, and then we're going to do a curve. Perfect. Now let's follow this curve on this side, just like that. So on the inside of this, there's three little square things kind of sticking out. So let's do one there. One there, and then one more. Perfect. Now this line is going to close around to the other side. So let's just follow behind, pretend like it's going behind, like that. Good job. Now next we're going to do the sides of the blender. So we're going to go straight up and it's going to curve in like that. So on this side, kind of go straight up. And then right towards the top, you kind of curve in just a little bit. Nice. So same thing on this side. We're going to start a little bit lower because the bottom of the blender is on this side. So we'll start a little bit lower. We're going to go straight up. Make sure your curve in matches the other side. Just like that. Perfect. So let's go down and make this a curved line down to about right underneath the eye. Good. So from here we're going to do the foot. So we'll do a rainbow shape and then we'll close it back up to the bottom of the blender. Nice little rainbow, and then we're going to close it up to match here. Good. And the other foot's going to be right behind it, so another one like this. A little rainbow, like their foot, feet are a little crossed, and then take this line all the way to the other side. Perfect. Now there's another foot sticking out over here, so let's do a line down, and then a rainbow arc going up and over. Just like that. Now connect it to the body. Good. So next we're going to take this line and we're going to put it to the other side, but it's a slight downwards curve. Just like that. We're going to make it a little bit thicker, so we're going to add a little line just like that, one on each side, and then follow the same line. Perfect. Now right here, kind of in the middle of the head, there's a little circle knob. So let's draw that circle knob. Just a perfect little circle like that. Nice. And we're going to do two lines in the middle of it. One, two. So it's almost like a, a turning knob. So next we're going to do more circles. One there and two on this side. A little bit smaller. So a circle there and then two more. Space nice and evenly. One, two. Very nice. We're almost there. So next we're going to do the picture part. The picture is going to curve out just a little bit and then go up almost to the top of the page, so about right here. So let's do this one first. Let's go straight down. Straight down as best you can and then start curving in right towards where it meets the blender. Nice. So same thing on this side. Take that line straight down. And right towards the blender it curves in. Nice job. So next, see this curve here? 
Now the top of the pitcher needs to kind of match that curve. So let's match that on the top. Just a slight curve. All right. Next we're going to do the pitcher. So almost like the letter C, we're going to do a little tiny C and then a bigger C on the outside. So we'll do a nice, well actually like the letter, I'm backwards, it's the letter D. So like the letter D right here. Good. And then one more letter D. That's the handle. Good job. Next we're going to do the spout. So do a straight line out, just about that long. Good. And now we're going to curve this down. Nice job. All right, so next we're going to do the little top of the blender. This is going to be like a little rainbow shape. It's just going to go up and over like that. So a nice little curve, just like that. And let's close it off with a line that's kind of like this, just a slight curve. You could turn your paper if you need to. Sometimes it's easier to make lines that way. Perfect. So next we're going to do the back side of the blender. It's going to be the top right here going behind. So it's going to go behind that little that little top part there. So pretend line this goes all the way through to meet on the other side of the blender, just like that. Perfect. Now there's your Brenda Blenda. Let's color. Thanks for hanging out with us today drawing Brenda Blenda. If there's anything else you want to see us draw, let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, do not forget to subscribe so you can join us next time on Draw Kids. Bye!